I was also very impulsive yesterday and I decided to go and get two piercings. I know, hectic, right? But I don't know. I really like piercings. They make me happy. So that cheered me up quite a bit. <music> Hey guys, if you're new, welcome to my channel and if you are a returning subscriber, it's good to have you back. So as you can see by the title of this video, I will be doing a life update today. Guys, I've I've been going through it, like it's, it's not even a joke um, and like nothing's been cute, nothing's been cute, especially my face. My face has been giving me problems. And I don't know if it's actually been giving me problems or I'm just being problematic and I've been feeling so low that I've been unsatisfied with how I look or anything. But I haven't even taken photos and usually I'm the type of person to post like every day, every second day. I have not posted. I've posted on my story, yes, because Instagram filters will help you lie to people. They have been saving my face. Other than that, I have been feeling so demotivated and just so low and my will to do anything has just, it disappeared. But I feel like my mental health is a lot better than it's been in a very long while, which I don't know, it, it's kind of weird because it doesn't go together, but I'm just feeling I'm not at my best, but I'm not depressed or anything because I do suffer with mental illnesses. I was diagnosed with depression. I have learned to manage it and I did feel like I was sort of slipping back into it, but I feel like when you say that, it's kind of you accepting it and it's harder to get out of it. So. I'm just not gonna say that. I'm, I didn't say that, I'm not going to say it because I would like to be okay. I would like to continue being okay and creating content and just, you know, being my bubbly ass self. It, it would be great if everything could work out. Today, I don't know what happened. I woke up and I was like, I've had enough of this. I want to feel good, so I got up I cleaned the house. I basically cleaned the whole house. Wow, oh, shout out to me. I put a mask on and I just, I fixed my face and I did my makeup and I was like, you know what? Just do something. I don't, I'm not the type of person that's vocal about my feelings. I'm always bottling shit up. I don't like to talk about my feelings. I feel like I am a burden and I am, because everybody has problems. I know that everybody is going through shit and now I must come to you and lay down my problems and times your problems by two. It's just, I don't like that. And it's so weird because when people come and vent to me, I'm always all ears no matter what I'm going through, but I don't do the same with other people. I know a lot of my friends get frustrated with that actually, but I'm working on it. You know, I, I have been speaking up more than I usually would. So that's something. <laughs> Let's not even get started on school. School has been showing me flames. It's been stressing me out. Um, I'm a drama student, so I don't know, like, I haven't been able to really like connect with my characters or anything like that. It just feels like Guys, I've been, when I tell you I've been able to do nothing, I haven't been able to do anything. And that's why I've also missed uploads and it's not cute, I know. It's, it's not cool, but I'm back and I do plan to be more consistent. And then also, it's been a bit rocky with some of my friendships. People have been showing me other things. I've been noticing things. It's just, a lot because I took some time to step back and also like really look at my situation and my surroundings and I'm not necessarily happy with it. No matter how close you are with someone, if it's time to let them go, it's time to let them go. Don't force. If it feels like you are forcing it, then clearly the universe is trying to tell you something and it's 
it's just not supposed to be happening anymore my friends are like family to me and so if if one of them makes me feel some type of way or makes me feel unwanted it it really hurts it hurts a lot but aside you know we move we move what what can i say we move on top of that last week was it last week friday yeah last week friday my friends and i almost got kidnapped guys <laughs> i'm actually gonna do a video on that it was not cute i feel like that whole situation was a lot for me and i'm not the type of person to panic in situations like that i usually go into survival mode i'm always like okay let's do this let's do that that specific situation was not cute it triggered a very traumatic incident for me so i was just reliving that incident in my head and that's why it shook me up guys like i've i haven't been okay since also this week has been rough i haven't been sleeping i've my anxiety has skyrocketed i've been having nightmares like it's not cute the side guys like nothing is cute but i'm working on it on top of that like the friends mm -hmm, this ties in with the friends that i've been rocky with a few of them didn't ask me how i was and i did make it very public i made an instagram post i tweeted about this and i'm not saying i expected everyone to be like oh my gosh how are you blah 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 and like kiss my ass and give me so much sympathy i wasn't there for sympathy it's just certain people you would expect certain people you thought cared about you you would expect them to ask how you are how you feel are you okay you know and some people did not do that and for me no matter what the situation is in our friendship whether we are in shambles or whatnot whatever is going on in your life i'm going to ask what's happening with you and if you are okay i'm going to check in because i care about people and i would expect the same but clearly it's not being reciprocated and that is also added on to the whole situation of like whoa that's that's hectic because that situation was a lot for me at at it really messed me up for some of those people not to ask about me is a bit wild because there were people who I don't even know, people who I'm not close to that were just so supportive and they were just there, you know, I don't know. Maybe I, I don't know if I'm being dramatic or what, but it's how I would handle a situation. So that's why I guess I'm expecting the same, but not everybody's the same not everybody reacts to situations the same so i don't know maybe i'm overreacting i'm trying to keep this video as short as possible so to end on a lighter note because we have hit how many weeks ago i think was it two or one week ago i think it was two weeks ago we hit 3,000 subscribers guys i am so 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 grateful for the support you have given me and the love you have shown me it makes me so emotional it makes me so so emotional how a bunch of strangers can be so supportive and just you know genuinely give me love and i'm just so grateful guys thank you so much for 3000 subscribers i think it is time that we have a subscriber name so comment down below any suggestions you can dm me on instagram if you have my number whatsapp me just suggest guys go off and i think yeah you know we'll see how i deal with that i don't know if i'm gonna you know choose ones i like the most and then we vote or do it another way i don't know we'll see but yeah that is the end of this video please do like comment and subscribe and share thank you guys bye